Hello there, how you doing guys? This is Culprit once more, bringing you some new and fresh content from Dothus. In this episode, we're gonna follow with the quest line in Astrop. We're gonna meet some friends, and it's gonna be fun. I promise that. You know, guys, if you would like to support me a little bit, just go and subscribe to my channel, smack the like button, you know the deal. And also, if you forgot to watch my last video before this one, I will link it to the video right here and then you can continue watching the playlist of this adventure so let's just go there so right now starting here we need to talk to this character here Job which is gonna send us to um, do some research on something that just happened with the rats and stuff they think that there's some sort of contamination remember that we took some samples in the previous quest so they think that someone is contaminating um, the food and all kind of resources in Astrup so they thought it was the rats for that reason we needed to talk to this um, rat chief but he thinks that we are not so good and we need to defeat some rats that's a quick combat. Then we speak to this one again. And um, he says that uh, he didn't really want to do that. We gave him a gift. And he told us that maybe our best lead could be to go to the Astro uh, Quarry. Which is like a, a mine or something like that. Because they saw something like smoke or some sort of contamination in the air. So, that's exactly what we did. We came here and we found some uh, weird creatures. I don't know, they are really bad looking. Now, the deal here is that you need to look for some kind of distraction. And you will find it right here. Look at that. That's a bag that contains some explosives. You will take this bag and you will take those explosives and uh, just use them right here. It will look like a firework so you do that in this precise hole and then you need to come back to the scene and they will think that something was wrong so you need to hide right here that red spot if you don't hide there you will not be able to continue the quest so you will listen to a conversation between these two creatures they are like the guards of something there's like a bolt behind them and we need to enter there so we do it after distracting them and look this is a dragon a little tiny dragon yes sir we talk to him and he says that basically he's been a slave for them for a while and so well we need to free him because you know it's not really good to have slaves, right? Then, we come out of the mine, and we need to find a tool to this- Yo, 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 hold on a second. Isn't that a pickaxe? A diamond pickaxe? Could it be that- Oh. <laughs> so yeah, after finding the pickaxe, you just need to use it to break the cell right here. And basically that's that's the dragon's way out you speak to him again and now you will be discovered by these guards and of course you will enter to combat now this combat is not that difficult basically because well the dragon or the creature that used to be a dragon now is a squirrel or something like that a little rat I, I think that's a squirrel and he's gonna help you a lot. It doesn't even matter if you die here. Of course, if you die, it's gonna be a little bit longer. So, as you can see here, I died and nothing happened because he kills a lot of monsters every two turns, as far as I know. The strategy here could be to give them away somehow and do as much damage as you can or if you can heal for example focus on healing yourself 
and you know helping this creature to defeat the monsters because he's basically gonna do 80% of the combat I mean at this level unless you have a really really good set which I didn't have I was using a PvE set you will not uh, deal a lot of damage as you can see here with the fogger now I actually did so much better just because of the turrets but uh, as I mentioned before um, Rathrosk which is the name of the creature I don't know if that's well pronounced but Rathrosk uh, did uh, almost 80% of the combat uh, I didn't kill more than four monsters I'm, I'm sure about that so yep that's the way to go here and uh, here you can see the combat because there's nothing else to say about this Right, you just finish, and now we need to take Rasprak to Astra because some people will be really happy to see him. And the first one will be Falinster. We need to tell him that the contamination was due to um, the fire or the smoke from this dragon. They were using it, so he's asking us to go to Isling and find out who Rasprak is. Yep. Isling is the one to go. In the middle of the conversation, some guards will tell you that you need to solve a situation outside the city. And of course, first off, we need to cut some trees. <laughs> yeah, right. Then we found some bad guys and don't commit this mistake. If you're using more than one account, just do one combat at a time because this took me not longer but a lot of brain cells to be able to kill these guys using the four characters. I didn't really know this combat was gonna be like this. I mean, I did this in the past, like many years ago, and I forgot about it. So yeah, my recommendation here is to take it easy and take it just one at a time because this is a single player combat. You're not gonna be able to um, enter to different combats at the time. It's not like other combats in which you can drop the item from a single fight so you need to so you don't really need to do it as many times as characters you have. No 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 no. This one is a single player one. And now um I know it's gonna be a little bit long, so I'm gonna take advantage of the time and tell you guys that it's been amazing this journey on YouTube. I'm hype. I think I mentioned this before in the previous video, but it's just like I, I can't go over this one. It's like I didn't really know it was gonna be this difficult because it's been difficult to grow. But you really enjoy this. I mean it's a journey that that I've been enjoying a lot. Uh don't get me wrong, it takes a lot of time because it's not just recording, you know? You need to record the videos, you need to s do some kind of edition because if you don't edit your videos, it's like you're just gonna be one more, it's not gonna be special. So yeah, it's taking me a lot of time, but you know what? Whenever you're doing something you really like, it's not considered, you know, like work. It's not work because I'm enjoying it. That's the way I think. And it it's, it's something that even in real life, if you have a job which is boring, I would call it just like that job. You're just working for money. But now if you're doing something that you really like, that you're passionate about, it's not a job anymore. It could be a hobby in which they're paying you to do that. For example, my previous job, I was uh, 
a driver basically I used to drive very important people for a really huge company and yeah I could say I was getting not a lot but decent amount of money and um, I was like man I like this because I love driving that's something that you didn't know about me but now you do but well that's it it's just like you need to try to enjoy your life and just take it easy sometimes because sometimes it's just not worth it to be mad or sad about something now ending with this ship shot let's go to the video look at that combo oh my god i love drums definitely <laughs> then we need to talk to Igor because we need to tell him hey dude someone attack me do something please and we don't really know if that's gonna work but anyways we can handle ourselves then we need to talk to Fallenster again and tell him that we found some information on Rasbrock and stuff like that and he's basically gonna tell us that we are now a model citizen yes sir we got an emote which is bending our knees I don't really know why they decided to do that but anyways we have it and of course I needed to take the advantage of trying this new emote and why not get maybe a good thumbnail for the video yes sir so as you can see here now we can bend our knees and it's I mean, emotes are not that useful, but they're fun. That's it. They're fun. Now, after that, we took another quest. And guess what? It's not going to appear here. No, 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 no. If you really want to see what's coming up next, you need to just subscribe to my channel and stay online because the next episode will be here in no time. This was Colbert once more. I hope you guys enjoy this video, subscribe, like, give me some love, peace out, goodbye.